all and welcome crystal here today i am bringing you a business haul i know i said my last video was the last canadian business haul and that is true I, I don't have intentions to do another business haul at this point in time but today i have a haul that's kind of unique and let's be honest long overdue There's no doubt in my mind that a lot of you are aware in the last year there has been insight shed on social injustices among ethnic minorities in North America. And in Canada especially, I think there's no population that has experienced maybe as many in social justices as Canada's Indigenous population. Really, really long-standing and horrendous treatment due to colonialism, due to pretty much how every social structure is set up in our country. So at the outset of this video, I am just going to acknowledge that I am white. I am a descendant of colonial settlers here in Canada, and I have a lot of privilege, and I completely recognize that. I also recognize where I live now is based in First Nations land. I believe I live kind of in an interesting region where there's like a crossroads of indigenous groups. For a business hall, this is like a really heavy start, but essentially I just wanted to preface this haul, which is focused all around indigenous owned businesses. So, um, you know, obviously this is just a business haul and I'm not unpacking all of the issues with indigenous history in Canada. That being said, if you do want to know more about that, I will definitely link something in the description. I am going to be using the word indigenous in this haul, which essentially means Canada's very first peoples. I know in Canada we use a lot of different terms to describe indigenous people, and there are three major groups of indigenous people, the Métis, the Inuit, and the First Nations. I'm just going to be using indigenous as a catch-all term, if possible, during this haul that we come across a business that I know the specific background of the business owner I will definitely let you know the name you know I probably filmed the intro of this video like 10 times because I just don't want to misspeak or create a narrative that's disrespectful I really just want this video to be about celebrating indigenous makers and making you aware of just some in general amazing businesses in Canada I am really honored to present these businesses to you I stand by them 100% finally and I'll stop talking I just want to say these businesses are all Canadian with the exception of one, which I will point out. This business though, however, I decided to include in the hall because they're a collective of North American indigenous makers. Essentially, they represent a variety of Canadians within that collective, even though it's not based in Canada. So that makes sense. Let's get into the first business. This first business, I'm so excited to show you. It is Cheekbone. I have been wanting to try Cheekbone for years and it is probably the most well-known business in this entire hall. I believe this business is based out of Ontario, St. Catharines area, and it is a cosmetics actually business, which is so cool. So they make, I believe their original claim to fame was lipstick, but they seem to be branching out. Every time I see their Instagram, they have all new products, which look so fleek, fleek, flit. They look awesome. They look really good. Jen Harper, the founder of this business, I believe on the website she outlines the full story so definitely go check that out but I believe essentially she was not raised with indigenous culture and as she got older and she learned she was indigenous she spent more of her time embracing that culture and really took the foundations and principles of her indigenous roots and put them into this business so let's crack this open I love the mailer this is so cute and oh my goodness this is so pretty, this little package. Okay, open this a little bit more. I got a beautiful pink feather. And this looks like seed paper. It's like a thank you for your order card that you would get in, you know, from any business really. And it has like descriptions about why the company's good and just like a little promotional piece. But beyond that, I don't know if you can see, but it's seed paper. So you can plant it and really give this paper new life. I am like so into a green thumb right now grow whatever's in it. This is cool. Hey guys, editing Crystal here. 
I did not realize, but this pink feather that came in my package also has a really beautiful deep meaning to it. Essentially, Cheekbone wants you to treat this pink feather as a sign of love and gratitude from them to you for supporting their business and their causes. And in turn, they want you to pass on the feather to another person. I have not passed mine on yet, but I am thinking deeply about who I want to show love and gratitude to in my life such a good idea and I actually don't think I've ever seen any other business do anything like this. As for the lipstick set itself, it is in this beautiful packaging. Like how stunning is that? You would not get anything this beautiful even from like Maybelline or CoverGirl. It says on the side stain collection and then again on the other side the cheekbone logo and the Christy Bellacourt signature. Ooh. And inside we have the three lipsticks. So I'm trying to remember, I did get this on sale and I think originally the set was like $150 which I mean, I mean, it's special but I got it on sale for like close to 50% off these three lipsticks cost me $70 reading the inside there is a description and it basically sounds like her artwork they have turned into this lipstick case and kind of decorated the outside of the lipsticks themselves with her artwork a portion of this will go towards the anama collective so that's really cool I plan on keeping all these lipsticks for myself so let's take a look through them and see what they all are I am especially excited for the nude one and I think that's the very first one I pick I'll just give a little swatch on the back of my hands but this is like a really beautiful brown nude shade it's lovely next up Okay, this is like, I don't even really know what color this is. This looks like a reddy brown. I should just look at what these are called. Ooh, this is, I believe, called Maycock, this color. And the previous color, this one here, is called Nuna. Let's swatch this Maycock. Ooh, and that one on super red. It's not a highly pigmented lipstick, but that might just be because I'm putting it on my hand and not my lips. And then even these tubes themselves, I don't know if you can see, but there are like almost a paper cardboard material. So I imagine they're quite recyclable and good for the environment, which is super neat. Very last one. This one has a little hummingbird detail on it, which is too cute. This is called Oaxar. I love these names. They're like really, they're really challenging me. And oh, this was like a brown, a beautiful brown. And I think I love this set idea. I thought these were like really beautiful shades of lipstick for kind of any skin color. I'm thrilled with these. They all look really nice. And like these are probably all great tones to wear for just like regular day wear too. So super neat. I am not one of those YouTubers that likes makeup on my hands, so I will be cleaning that off. Something I noticed was Cheekbone reached out with multiple emails thanking me for the order and also just uh, wanting to chat about products and asking for a review. I don't usually say this in my videos, but just so you know, any company that I really review in this video or these videos that I post online, I do reach out to the companies and let them know that I have done this video and I often leave reviews as well on their platform whether it's their website or Etsy and I mean 99% of the feedback is really positive and I will be sure to leave great feedback. I think the next company I'm going to talk about is Beading Medicine. This is the smallest I think Etsy group I have ever showcased on the channel. I think I was the fourth sale which is pretty amazing and that is a great thing about Etsy is you can really follow businesses as they grow. So Beading Medicine is based in Alberta under Treaty 7 and essentially their goal is to make handmade beaded goods so it's really artisanal. These are earrings that I bought, beaded earrings. I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video but I have lived in indigenous communities to work as a nurse in the past so I actually do have quite a few beautiful handmade things from indigenous makers in my home and I have a little set of beaded earrings. All of them though I have are like that medallion style. These are dangly I do not own any dangly beaded earrings. The cost of these earrings was $65 and that included shipping in this really cute mailer. Beading Medicine is on Etsy and I just wanted to make a quick note because I do know Etsy has filters for black owned businesses. I do not feel like there is any filters for indigenous owners yet and I really would encourage Etsy to add that feature. They do however have a statement if you are an indigenous maker or indigenous owned business an area at the bottom to add but you do have to kind of look for it definitely it could be an easier process let's open this up okay this is too cute and i am so excited oh so again they sent me like an experience almost in a box like cheekbone have this little envelope with my name on it and i believe 
this is my name written in in some wonderful indigenous language which is really cool and then it's this cute little panda envelope so i'll open that up oh my goodness this is so sweet this is like a little hand wrote letter crystal thank you so much for your support i hope these earrings bring you light and joy wear them in good health stephanie okay the best like i just feel like you know, I was rambling at the beginning about why indigenous businesses are great. <laughs> I didn't need to. I could have just started opening these because I think the proof is in the pudding. There's so much love and care in these very first two packages we've opened. Amazing. So these are the earrings and I will take them out of the package, but I am not disappointed. These are gorgeous and I absolutely love the clasp. Such a nice little safety feature to keep these in your ears. I cannot wait to wear them. Definitely look forward to seeing these in future videos or something because these are amazing. Like I said, I own several pairs of beaded earrings and knowing these are $65, I feel like I got a steal. Beaded earrings can cost hundreds of dollars in some cases. And I mean, let's be real, wouldn't be a haul with me if there wasn't some jewelry in it. And uh, also not gonna lie, there's more jewelry to come. So total of five businesses. The third business that I am gonna unbox for you. Let's do, let's do this one. It is from Yellowtail, Be Yellowtail. This is the business I was talking about in the intro that is in America. So I think they're based out of LA. Be Yellowtail is the name of Bethany Yellowtail. She is a fashion designer. And then under her name, she's created space for other artists to join her. Not gonna lie, her stuff is quite expensive, but not more expensive than any other fashion designer. One downside, I guess, to this business is that because it is based in the US, there is a little bit of a hefty shipping charge. I think I paid about 25 Canadian to ship these items here to me. So that's just something to keep in mind. But without much ado, let's open this up. Really nice, sustainable packaging. I've never seen packaging this beautiful ever in a haul. Like everything's divinely wrapped. So here's my items. Got a little card here with this beautiful like picture of indigenous women on horseback. And I actually think they're all wearing the Bee Yellowtail collection. So this just outlines your returns and exchanges, which is good to know. Very first item, we'll start with the jewelry item. Don't have to force me to open the jewelry item. This beautiful little package with the Bee Yellowtail logo on it. And opening it up, there is my jewelry that I ordered that I, you know, desperately needed. This is an emergency necklace, everybody. It, it is gold with some black lining in it in the engravement. I believe this necklace is special because it's like an anniversary necklace. So it, it represents a milestone for the Bee Yellowtail name. And it is called the Emblem Necklace. I believe it is still available on their website. So I will definitely link everything below like I normally do. This necklace was... I believe 65 US. So it is a little bit of an investment, but for a beautiful jewelry piece that supports incredible indigenous artists, I think totally worth it. Next up, also beautifully wrapped, I ordered a set of four greeting cards. These aren't just any greeting cards. Stunning. So this actually is from an indigenous maker in Montana. This is a four pack of quilt stationery, and I believe each card has like an emblem like this and a variety of different colors and actually you can see on the back there so usually i buy like my cards for birthdays and stuff just kind of on the cheap from dollarama but i thought it'd be incredible to have some of these special cards on hand the design of them is really intricate and beautiful i think and this was 24 dollars american in total the necklace and the cards cost me about $150 to bring to Canada. So kind of pricey, but I'm happy to support these makers and I would rather give like, you know, a few extra dollars to an indigenous maker for a beautiful card than like $15 to Hallmark. So yeah, that's Be Yellowtail for ya. Our fourth business we're gonna talk about in this teeny weeny package is an Etsy-based shop for Generations Creation. So, and they really thrive on making stickers, but I think they also have like t-shirts and other items that are like apparel based. And I was really drawn to this company because they do have an ally sticker, which I loved and want to put like on my planner or somewhere nice and central to display it. The owner of this business, Ashley, really has embraced the theme of unapologetically indigenous. It's just really focused on decolonization and empowering indigenous peoples. She is based out of British Columbia. I'm probably gonna mispronounce this, but she did write the name of her band on the Etsy shop. I want to say it's 
Tamloops ba band. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. And this order was very inexpensive being stickers, so it cost me $16.50, included $2 shipping. And Oh yes, perfect. So I got this little card with a little welcome information and again, synopsizing Ashley and where she's from. And I really like this little info card laying out who the maker is. You kind of feel like you get to know them a bit better. And then here are my stickers. And I think I've mentioned this in the past video. I know stickers maybe seems like a juvenile purchase to some people, but yeah, they're just something I like. I like putting them on different things and kind of personalizing some of the items I own. This one here I'll start with because this was a sticker that drew me into her shop. This is like a woman up sticker and it's got a beautiful indigenous woman with indigenous on her shirt and just really showing strength and pride and who she is. I want to find a special place for it, no doubt. As mentioned, here is the ally sticker. It's like I stand indigenous ally and I just think this is super cute and it's just like a nice little way to show someone that you care. This very last sticker is the shawl dancer sticker and again the artistry, the colors, just beautiful. Really happy with this purchase. These two little stickers were four dollars and then this large sticker was six. Really reasonable prices for custom Canadian made stickers. Also a great way to support an artist. I think stickers are like a super underrated way to show your favorite artist love. Very last business in this haul, The Res Life, a Ontario based company and I did crack this open because I forgot about it coming and was just being silly, I guess. But yeah, this is an indigenous owned business, the Res Life. If you don't know, Res is sometimes the word used to refer to reservations. It is not like their true homeland. Reservations, so many issues with reservations that I could go on to. Long story short, this business is really good at supporting and creating advocacy for indigenous people, but I also feel like they're really good at indigenous culture to the forefront to us as white people. You will see a lot of the items they have are also like based on res humor. So for example, they have a shirt that says big auntie energy. And that's just kind of like a, a saying from First Nations communities, from reservations. Another example is one of the reservations that I lived on, they would always say, oh, isn't that ever cute, ever cute. It was just something they said. It was just a saying like anything. And then if you want to learn more about what it means to live on a reservation, and reservation culture. I actually reached out about the res life to the owner and I just wanted to make sure it was okay for me as someone who's not indigenous to buy this item and to wear it. And she was wonderful. She was like, of course we want all people to wear these items and to spread awareness and information about injustices against indigenous people. So that was really great to hear. And she also gave me like a discount for a first time purchase, which was really nice. So I was able to get this for 10% off. And a lot of the proceeds that they make from their items, they give back into charities that benefit reservations. So for example, I think they do support a res dog charity. And again, res dogs are a whole thing about living on reservations. Don't talk anymore. Um, I'll show you what I got. So this is gorgeous. I am in love with this. This says burn sage, sweet grass, and the Indian Act, which is essentially, if you don't know, Canada's highly racial, not really helpful charter to mandate indigenous people in Canada. So I am more than happy to support that with my shirt and with the words I say. So I got this in a 2XL and it is an oatmeal heather. And I don't know if you can see, like it's just this really beautiful texturized sweater. It's very soft. It's very sturdy. It looks like it's going to fit me perfectly and maybe even super oversized. The t-shirt brand itself is Delta Fleece, which I haven't heard of before, but it is really cute. In total, this cost me $58.36 Canadian. That includes shipping. This is a great item to end the haul on. I cannot wait to put this on and get really comfy. Thank you for if you've made it this far in the video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I am really grateful to the indigenous makers who are making these items and businesses in Canada. If there's any indigenous businesses that you know of and love, please share them below. Otherwise, have a great night, everyone, and we will see you soon. Bye.